you better start talking, Danny. Hey, you're missing the show. Right then. Let's go. Faces in London down if we want to. Call on what? Seven, eight hundred blokes? <laughs> Honest lads. None of us want that, bloody hell, believe me. <laughs> and what about my brother, huh? What are you going to do about him? I can't help that. That bastard who took my wolf out. Yeah. And Ted Cutler's wife still fighting for her life. You want bodies? We'll supply them. There'll be more of yours than ours. Not till tomorrow midday. Think about it. It was you, wasn't it? You think my like a pub. All she needed was somebody to talk to and you threw out your goddamn hierarchy of a pub. Shut up! So out of line. Mother laid up in hospital. Yeah, where she is right now. Try to finish herself off thanks to you and your stupid, selfish, vindictive nature. You contribute to the... Biteful, callous, cold bitch. I want to shoot you right now, but I want no. I need to make you suffer. I want you to sweat blood from fear over the next day or so. I'm here to make sure you don't get away with what you've just done. What you did, Jane, was wrong. And I'm set on making sure, come hell or high water, that you pay for it. Bad enough you're treating me like a piece of shit in the bottom of your shoe and not my mother. You're not going to get away with that. Nobody treats a mother like that. Just shut up. I need to think. You, you think you're so fucking clever, don't you? Twisting and turning around your little finger. Thought I'd a true kid the spirit in you too. Turned out to be an even bigger bitch than the rest of them. Just when I needed you as well. Except mum. Ah! What did you think you were doing? Mum doesn't normally behave like that, does she? Obliterate from booze at that time in the morning? She obviously has things on her mind. You, you, you could have asked her what was wrong. What was wrong? You, you're a barmaid for Christ's sake. You'd recognise a person in crisis, wouldn't you? If it had been some silver tongued him, all yeah, you'd have asked him, wouldn't you? I'm sure you'd have helped him too. In more ways than one. One thing about my Susie. At least she's sincere some of the time. You, me, what you and I have been doing for the last three months, Jane, is wrong. It's a shame we took this cable to sort it out. Just everybody, the way you've treated me and, and, and my mother. Or, or is it just something you, you've done to us? Something you, you enjoy doing to the local friendlies who spend money every now and then in, in your establishment? We are special, aren't we? Say it. Say, David Highland's family is special. Say it! <laughs> Reckon 
may have been on the air for a while. I need to use your bathroom too, but see, you've already been to the bathroom without asking permission. You couldn't have asked, Jane. You know, for a barmaid, you don't hold your drink very well. Stay there! Don't move! I only need one hand for this maneuver. The other hand's still on the trigger. You'll still be in view with the bathroom door open. If I see you twitch, I'll create another door. But this one will be in you! One corpse, stone cold. Been dead about five hours. Is that what killed him? Oh, without a doubt. Have you found him yet? Who? Oh. Dave. If he done it, I want him to be put away for life. Just calm down, will you? We don't even know he did it yet or not. Your stepdam and the people you hang about with, Jackie, could put Dave in a little league, to be honest. Look at you. Look at you, Lord. I mean, you couldn't even find your own bollocks. That's if you had any. Get out of here! Before I have you arrest on use of group language on a police officer. Like I said, tell that bunch of cretins you hang about with, they're all being investigated for your boyfriend's murder, every last one of them. You're a dark horse. You were once a talk. I know all about that bank robber and his son you single-handedly hauled him down in Epping six weeks ago. What about them? They couldn't even read or write. They didn't have the sense they were born with, mate, yet suddenly, seven grand goes missing. What are you saying? You're not the first dirty copper on a false tide, and you certainly won't be the last. Yeah, slander. Do you really want to go there? All right, no. Because private school fees are crippling me. So, you needed the money. Hi there. I basically wrote a screenplay about a man who's been unfaithful to his wife. His wife is barren. She can't have children right here and now. Uh, so he goes off and has an affair with a married woman who's his friend, his, his wife's friend. And that ain't gonna work at all. As far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't have done that. But she finds out about that. Just in time for one of my special teas. Oh, nice one, mate. I've missed your apple teas. So what have you been up to, mister? So what happened, man? You've been fighting. I've been having too much luck, Guffy, lately, man. Well, you know, that's life, Colin. Full of ups and downs, twists and turns. The rear is not for the swift dread. Yeah, I hear that, mate. But it just seems like nothing's going right for me at the moment, man. Sometime you've got to hit rock bottom. Then the only way is up. How's your girl? Has she had the picnic yet? I'm not with her no more, mate. We split up a while back. Oh. Lost the picnic too. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, she miscarried, so I just guess it wasn't meant to happen yet, you know? You're still young, Colin. Your time will come. Don't worry. 